Some of you that have been following this channel for a while might be aware that I was working on a project called Ignite, which is a horror puzzle game made in Game Guru, and I finally decided to bite the bullet and release what I have of it so far to the world. So full disclaimer, I haven't worked properly on Ignite since probably about May of 2021. Um, at that stage I had just prepared a three level standalone, it was just the opening three levels of the game and really that standalone was only designed to be played by a handful of people. I sent it to some very select members of the community just to get it in the hands of maybe five, maybe ten people just to get their feedback on it to see if I was heading in the right direction. And the feedback I got from that standalone was really positive and also really helpful. They unearthed some bugs which I just hadn't thought of um, and they also had some comments on kind of like the world design and the general feel. But it had taken such a long time to actually get to that point where I just had three playable levels that I was, I mean, basically just exhausted. So uh, I decided to put Ignite to one side for a few months, hoping that, you know, my sort of enthusiasm for the project would come back. Uh, and maybe in the sort of um, autumn or winter of 2021, I would kind of get that, that urge again and I would want to pick it up and start making levels again. To some extent that did happen, I did put some time into making a fourth and a fifth level, but I never really got them to a kind of a playable state really, and they're not included in this standalone because they're just, they're not complete levels at this stage. And then 2022 was basically a complete write-off because I just got busy from the beginning of the year right through to the end. Even now, I'm looking at this standalone and I'm still not kind of filled with great enthusiasm to kind of carry on the project, because a lot of the problems with that standalone are still present in Game Guru even now, sort of two years later, because we're talking about graphical things like unless they're going to put in shadow casting dynamic lights, the kind of the main premise of the game, which is you know using your kind of torch to light the way, is kind of null and void. So maybe Game Guru Classic isn't the right engine for Ignite. It could be as simple as that. Um, but equally, I I don't really have the incentive to sort of try and port everything over to Game Guru Max. Uh, it just seems like it's more effort than it's worth for an engine that's not stable enough, performant enough, um, or just finished enough. You know, maybe at some point in the future it will be, we'll see. And so I'm left with this three level standalone and I just kind of came to the conclusion that the only thing more tragic than a game that's never released is a game that's never played. And ultimately there is a playable three level version of Ignite sat on my hard drive. So I've decided to release it to the world today um, just so that anyone who is interested in the project can, can give it a whirl and, uh, and leave their comments even though I'm not necessarily incentivized to pick up that project right now, maybe at some point in the future, I might be. Having had that distance, it's given me a lot of perspective on kind of the different direction I'd probably want to take Ignite in. So for instance, this standalone begins with a, a long sort of uh, first person perspective cinematic, um, which is all quite mysterious and has some uh, Stravinsky playing over it. I, don't, I wouldn't start the game like that now. I, I totally would change the opening of the game and make the story a little bit different, I think. So I'm okay with that being out in the world because I, I don't feel like it's an accurate representation of um, the final product. I think that there is more development work to be done. Even though I thought I'd finished those opening three levels, there is still more work to be done. So I'm happy for people to play it. And if you'd like to give it a go, I will leave a link in the description of this video. I'm also going to leave uh, a couple of notes on some known issues. There's a couple of things you can do to fix some of them, but equally there's just some things that, because it's a finished standalone with encrypted files, you're not going to be able to fix them. Um, that's just the way it is. And also you've got to remember this was built in a, an earlier version of Game Guru Classic, um, probably the sort of whatever version we were running in spring 2021, I guess. So any of the kind of developments that have happened in the last two years on the engine, um, this this build doesn't take advantage of those things. So. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. So if you're interested and you'd like to leave some comments, please feel free to comment on this video or on the uh, Discord thread, which I, I guess I can also leave a link to as well. And uh, yeah, it would just be really nice to kind of gather as much sort of data as possible, um, because even if it doesn't necessarily affect this project, it could be useful for, you know, future game projects possibly. So I don't know. I'm still sort of toying with that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the demo and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.